Yes, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, it's another time for that I Hate Our Homies podcast. Welcome back. Rock Teasy is who I beezy. It's your boy Griff, the first homie, and I Hate the Homies, episode 38. Hold on, I wrote down some famous no, 38s. No. Kurt Schilling. It's your boy Super Yogi Dave. Yogi Berra. And, <laughs> and, for the, and for Super Dave. Kwame Brown when he was with the Detroit Pistons. <laughs> Kwame Brown. What? <laughs> Oh my god! Deep for that. What was that running back he used to run for? Uh, he used to play for the Saints, George. Uh, something George. I think he was thirty-eight too. <laughs> I'm tired of these numbers, man. Right, it's Dave. your boy Super Dave, but guess what? We, we, don't, don't, care. Care. we don't care about those damn numbers. Sure we do, man. Come on, man. We got to keep that thing. Don't oh, egg him on, man. Don't do that. I can't wait long. for number thirty-nine. Who are you gonna name out? <laughs> Larry Zonka. Go ahead and write it down right now, big dog. Listen, I already know. That's an amazing fullback number right there. Yes, sir. This week, man, we're going to discuss Kyrie Irving being traded to the Dallas Mighty Mavs. Give you our thoughts and opinions on that. Plus, Grammy talk. Beyonce, it was her night. A whole bunch of 50-year hip-hop celebration, anniversary, all that good stuff, man. Then, of course, Super Bowl, baby. Super Bowl 57. Kansas City Chiefs. Philadelphia Eagles. We're going to give you our predictions on who's going to win, who's not going to win, and all that other kind of stuff, man. So am I missing anything, guys? In a three-minute drill. Got it. There it is, man. Let's get it popping. Ray Duggle, let's go. You done messed up, A.A. Ron. Yeah, huh? I've been geeking for this broadcast. Got me in my bag because all they do is talk a lot of trash. Uh. Wait until I see them face to face off of this podcast. What you got to say now? Check the facts. Don't have a wrong stat. Oh. Rock T, he a genius as a sport. Make Ricky smile, boy. Ricky Super smile. Davey Holly come up short on like it's Cowboys. Yeah. Always controversial. Griff call out plays. No rehearsal. Got me talking all in circles. Ah! I hate the homies. Uh, and Griff be laughing like it's funny. But they never bet no money. They my mans, but they throw me. Ah, I hate the homies. All right, so uh, let's get right into it. Before we jump into all this, Rock Team, man, how, how have you been since the last episode? I know you got a big dance. Got a big dance off this weekend with your wife. I'm gonna be there. Tell us about it. No, man, it's all good, man. Oh, hold up. It's a whole video. You online completely falling down some steps, dog. Say, dog, why you gotta bring that up? Are you surprised by that? (laughs) I'm not surprised. (laughs) So I'm talking about y'all can go to I Hate the Homies right now on Instagram. He and and the best part about the whole video, your wife Crystal is in tears, Tears. rolling dog. She's Still laughing about that dog. <laughs> like my wife is the wrong person to make a mistake, fall, make a fool of yourself, embarrass yourself in front of because she is not gonna let you live it down. Clumsy ass. Hey man, listen, it was the ice storm. I'm trying to be. Oh, all now cool. you gonna blame the ice? Okay. It was the ice. You okay. gotta blame the ice. It was the Don't ice. Do that. Dallas got first ice. of all. Rock T, tell everybody about how the winter just came through Dallas. Fierce. How would he know? He never drove to work. He drove to work one day, and then he called me on my way home and said, "Super day. Is is it is it is it hard to get home?" I said, "Man, I said, God dog it, man. Come on, be a man. Hey, Grow some. And Just I'm, go twenty five miles got a, an hour. And he got the biggest truck in the exactly, parking lot. Exactly, man. Right. Please. Man, and, and, and born and coming from Detroit, I should be used to all this snow and ice and stuff. But it's been so long, dog, it. But anyways." The ice storm came through, shut down the whole doggone city, and right. we were out hanging out at at our at our little our little property, and you know, little country cabin, mm-hmm. and, and ice it iced everything, the stairs, everything. So I'm like, okay, cool, I gotta go out and uh, get get something out the little shed, and I'm like, okay, it's only three steps, I got this. Made it down step one, made it down step two, looking directly at step three at the bottom. And I was wearing some Nike slides. Man, my right foot just didn't want to grip. Nike slid, <laughs> dog. How about that? Thank it you, is. God. Thank you. You answered it's all he, my prayers. Thank Dave, you. Dave, when he turned around, his wife was laughing. You could see the pain. He tried to, <laughs> you could see. When he, he tried to gather himself and kind of laugh, but you could see the pain when he was getting up, like how unfunny it was, dog. Because he old now. He ain't young. I'm always in my prime. I stay young, Oh, son. God. That, 
That's but, why God uh, put you in that position while your ass is on the ground. That's my, why you. That's why. That's what happened. My daughter didn't make it no better. My daughter Harmony. So she said she started. <laughs> Picking out every little detail. Dad, look at the dent you put in the ice with your right knee. <laughs> hey, Dad, look at your left slide, how it folded up. Hey, Dad, she started just picking out all everything, Man. the details of everything. I'm like, come on, y'all tripping. I would that, pay that good money for that me. dent. If she can yeah, get that, that, that blessed me so good, dog. But, <laughs> but happy, you're doing something you. big this week in Atlanta. Yeah, man. Yeah, so, before you clown him some more. I saw it to the good, man. Me and wifey, on behalf of our Perfect Pair Podcast, teaming up with our friends and 5678 Line Dance. And we're doing a day party in Atlanta, man. So February the 11th, if you a couple or if you single, come hang out with us, man. Just follow us on social media and uh, get your tickets. Uh, Griff, appreciate you and your wife stopping in and hanging out with us, man. We're going to have a good time. We're going to dance. We're going to do some karaoke. We're going to do some sessions with the uh, with the couples. we got a session with the singles as well. It's going to be a fun little nice. day party, man. That's all. Lots of dancing, lots of having fun. So uh, let's, let's, let's go out there and get I it. I want video of the big polar bear dancer. <laughs> and that's you, First girl. of all. Here we go. <laughs> I dance all. Uh, I've been in St. Martin for the last five days. I dan- I'm a dancer, dog. Okay. Are you kidding me? Right. The dancing, I see it. the dancing bear. You think you're gonna see? <laughs> it ain't gonna be nothing surprise, homie. Ain't nobody. First of all, Super Dave, we would like you to get off the unicycle for the weekend and come through. Okay. You could dozy do with a dozy nobody, and uh, I would like someone to record that. It's yeah. always good to see Smurfs outside the village. Why's the Both peanut gallery? Why's the, the peanut building. gallery laughing? That's the same guy that just fell just a few days ago. I'll tell you something, the way he fell. Yeah, exactly. I, I go back Dave, to that. Oh. Dave, I looked at that thing so many times because his wife though you know how he always laughing at you like yes. just now yeah. yes. his yeah. wife was giving him thank i'm you, talking Crystal. about thank you the man, business it was awesome anyway let's uh let's go into these sports wait a minute super dave what'd you do over the weekend dog let's go go into sports now let's go and go to sports now he went hanging out with his wife <laughs> i did nothing <laughs> nothing nothing super dave, lift weights. thank you that's something man that's all he does thank is lift you. weights <laughs> All right, so Kyrie Irving, Brooklyn Nets, Kyrie Irving, trade to the Dallas Mavericks, man, exchange for a first-round draft pick, a couple second-round draft pick, Mavericks sending Spencer Dinwiddie over and Darian, uh, Dorian Finney-Smith, and uh, listen. I liked him. I, they, they some dogs, man. They, they, they fun players to watch, but Kyrie and Luka, that backcourt is sick. <laughs> If the other role players just play their role, that's well, all they got to do. Don't say it, man. Do just not play, go there. Just play their role. Them too. Play their role. Kyrie has already proved that he can share the ball with other yep. superstars. He's already he yes, played he with has. Kevin Durant and James Harden. So he proved that, listen. I'm, and LeBron James. I, and LeBron though. James when he won that championship right. with Cleveland. So, right. listen, this, if they stay healthy. There's no reason why they can't represent the West in the NBA Finals. Am I am I, am I over getting excited or, or what, why do you do this, man? Go ahead, Dave. Yeah, I'm, I'm. I hate when you overhype something. I give you credit for saying Kyrie can make a difference in Dallas with Luca, but the Dallas Mavericks are nowhere near being a championship team. What you mean? They were be- No, no. They was no. almost one. They was almost there last year. But the team is different, right? Their defense, their, their defense, year, their defense is not as good as it was last they season. They made the Western Conference Finals. What do you mean? You, what, last season, they're different no, now. No, Griff just said they didn't almost win it last year. They was in the Western they Conference the Western, Finals. I'm not taking anything from last season, but they also had Bronson, too. Oh, who's I'm in where? Dog. And Where's guess what? Luca, right. Luca didn't play what? The first two games? Was it that right. series? You're or right. in the right. Phoenix series. In the Phoenix My series. Bad. He missed. No, he missed some uh, games in the in the Phoenix series, I think. That was the that was the the Western Conference Finals. No, I think that was with uh That was the year before. No, that was with no, that, uh Golden State. That's right. Golden State eliminated yeah. them. Yeah, dog. Come on, man. So go ahead and finish your thought. We go crazy when we see two superstars come together. I think Luca, probably the second, maybe the first, best player in the NBA right now. But you're talking Agreed. about Kyrie you're talking about Kyrie Irving, the same guy who Kevin Durant went to New York or went to New Jersey for to be alongside, go go toe-to-toe with him and win a championship. And what happened in four years? 
he became a distraction. He became a knucklehead. I don't see this working. You gave up a lot for a guy. Yeah, Luca needed help, but you brought in a knucklehead, a guy on the court. You don't know if you could depend on this guy. In the last four seasons, he's played what? Less than 150 games. He missed all, what, all that COVID year. Close to the end, he came toward the end. And then he had the problems, what, this year? Was it last year? <laughs> they all run together now with the, um, with the movie. Oh, yeah, you're talking about the – yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so the, this so, anti-Semitic so movie. So he, had, he was suspended like for a few games there. I like everything Dave's saying. I like everything Dave's saying. Dave's right. We are jumping overboard, but this is all I'm saying. I don't know what uh, re- religion at the Nets uh, uh, practice, but I know they all saying, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're right. <laughs> but get rid of them. Thank you. And I don't think Kevin Durant is somewhere sipping tea either. I think he has something. To, I think he has something to do with it too. But what I love is Mark Cuban's genius. He know, just like Dave just said, it might not be right now, but them two together is gonna fill up them seats. Is gonna have everybody talking about Dallas. And I love. I mean, I'm a Luca fan. If Luca is somebody who probably has always been a fan of Kyrie Irving now to be able to get the play, Luca seems to get better every season. Am I right? Every season. Absolutely. Man. So I, I just that. think this is going to be a really fun time for the city of Dallas to be able to put some, man, put some numbers up on some folk. I, I've been excited about this all But it's day. not about Luca. It is about who? One player. Kyrie Irving, you can't depend on this guy. What do you co- mean? So look, Rock. okay. Oh, oh, there's a, re- there's a reason why the Nets couldn't get rid of him, and they're singing hallelujah right now because they got rid of this guy and got picks off of him because he was not there. Okay. What's the what's the best part about a player? He has to be what? Available. Okay. So on the field, on the present. court. So you're right. Now, there is a such thing as refresh, restarting. Hit the reset button. I'm sure Kyrie Irving, even when all the thing, crazy things that he's been through and how he thinks, what he believes in, uh, his philosophical way of thinking in life, whatever. I'm sure he's like, okay, you know what? My clock is ticking. And up until this point, I've put a bad name into my image. Regardless on if he gives a damn or not, he probably care less what people think about him. But... This is the opportunity for him to clean all that up, make people forget about some of the poor decisions that he that, that the public thinks that he's made. And let's go out here and play with one of one of two of the best players in the world and go get a championship. I'm gonna swallow my pride. I'm not gonna bring my baggage to this team. I'm not gonna expect my new teammates to deal with all this baggage that's coming with me or whatever. I'm just gonna focus on playing basketball, being the best teammate that I can be, and be and go out here and dominate like I know how on the basketball court. While Luca is still the star of this team, he's he's not gonna mind being the second option on this team. I'm pretty sure he's already having that conversation with Luca, with Mark Cuban, and everybody else. This is still your team. I'm going to come do my part, and let's go win this championship. That's the version of I mean, of- it's going to be his team like it was always Dirk Nowitzki's team. Like it was uh, – I mean, Luka is the franchise. Kyrie is just some nice – um a nice side uh, arm piece. He, well, right he's a now. hell of a player I, when he wants to play. Absolutely. That's the problem. When can you get him to play? He's going to play. Everything you said sounded great if you're talking about someone else. But, again, he's done this. He played with LeBron. I think the one thing that really hurt him when they won that bogus ass championship against Golden State because it changed him. Did, what what happened after that? How can you say bogus, dog? You already know what I'm going. I was going to ask you about bogus. What too. you mean why, bogus? Why, why got to be bogus? It was given to them by the NBA. You know that. I told y'all that 15 million times. When they put Draymond Green out because of what LeBron did in that basketball game. That's how they won the basketball game. They took the heart of Golden of Golden State, which is Draymond Green. So next man up, heart bro. Is strong. Next man up. <laughs> I mean, I know Draymond Green is the glue of that team, but next man up. You still got to play the doggone game out. They were given. I ain't talking about the if championship. If I was a championship Cleveland fan, I'd be pissed at you, Dave. I don't, right I don't give a damn about them saying. Cleveland some, fans. I don't some, care about them. Some bull crap. What you no, just that wasn't no made bull no crap. No sense. Oh. Just keep, keep, keep what it was on. I saying? I wasn't talking about the damn championship. Keep, keep it on Kyrie then, dog, because you, you. God, dog, and I'm saying when he got that championship, 
The bogus championship, again, I throw that out there, it changed him. He's He hadn't been the same player. Before LeBron got there, he was a player that wanted to win a championship. Mm-hmm. Once he got that championship, now he wanted to be the man. Right. Went to Boston. Had problems in Boston with a young team. Right. He had, he had problems everywhere. Okay, after, then. After so why, why would he change now for the Mavericks? For the reasons that I just well, gave hopefully you. hopefully because of maturity. <laughs> but, I hear everything you're saying. And, 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 and the brother has been a bit of a cancer. As the Nets. Um, the brother has not been consistent. And um, he looks like he hasn't been having fun playing something that he had played his whole life. He wants his money. We're all hoping that Luca having the vigor and the, 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 I mean, Luca to me is just like a little boy just having fun. Like if he's a cheat code, that can be contagious. And maybe Kyrie can remember that spark again because Mark Cuban ain't wasting no money. Know that he going to think all that out first. Ask the Nets. The Nets are re- sitting back real happy right now with those picks, and then they got Dim Witty back with them, who played with them a few years ago. They're happy to get rid of a knucklehead, I mean, they got a, a head pick case. Twenty twenty nine, dog. Yeah, but yeah, but they're gonna put they're gonna package that to bring more talent to keep try to keep Kevin Durant there with the Nets. Now I feel sorry for that's the one person I don't, really, I don't know if I really feel sorry for him because he made the boneheaded decision to go play for that knucklehead too. He was the reason why. Kevin Durant wanted to go from Golden State, which he probably would have won a few more MVPs and a few more championships, to go play for the Nets. And the last four seasons have been a waste. He regrets that. He admitted that, though. It's been a waste. And it's because of one player. He wants to blame ownership of the Nets. No, put it on one person. The one person is Kyrie Irving. And I'm telling you, the same thing we've seen in Boston, the same thing we saw in Cleveland, the same thing we saw with the Nets or the same thing you're going to see with the Dallas Mavericks, especially when they don't win. The West is jumbled up right now. And the one thing Dallas didn't do before Kyrie Irving would play defense. Well, is he a defensive player? No, Kyrie, he can be when he I was about to say he can, he can be he, like when you not know, as much as we would like him to. If it was, Kev, it was, if it was Kevin Durant coming to Dallas, then I would be happy because then. He is a defensive player. He's gotten better over the years. But Kyrie Irving is not the same. He's not a defensive player. But listen. He's I, a scoring machine, which is fine. I can't disagree with everything that you're saying. You make good points. I'm just saying this is an opportunity for him to hit the reset button. And because of maturity, like Griff said, and some of the other points that I said earlier, I believe I'm going to give him a chance. I'm going to believe that this is going to be his thing. You know what? That all that history go is, is bygones of bygones. Now let's start to hit this reset button. Let's go have some fun. Go out here and win this championship. So once he makes the first and mistake. Keep, and keep it about basketball only. But you know he can't. I think he's – well, let's give him a shot. Let's give him a chance. If he does that – have to. If he does that, Dallas Mavericks is going to represent the West in the in, – um, This season. This season. With this the season. with the with the lineup they have right now, yeah, I, I just told you they were struggling. And the Denver Nuggets. Okay. I mean, they got I mean Denver and Memphis out there doing their thing. You still got Phoenix or whatever. Still got Golden State to deal with. Yeah, but I think Golden okay. State is just. I don't think they're gonna stay healthy. The all one way. the one thing I really loved about the whole deal was the owner of the um, the Nets because Kyrie Irving his first choice was going where Lakers. The Lakers back with LeBron. And they said, no, oh, no, they no. Oh, that. Yeah, yeah we're not sure giving you what you want. The That's the part I like. Right, right, right. That's, I'm not giving <laughs> no, you anything. Not, you gave me no. hell for four years? You're <laughs> no. Not, oh, hell no. You're not getting that. But guess who owns I the Lakers? I saw that too, Dave. Guess who owns the Lakers? That's fine. The Dallas Mavericks. Dallas Mavericks be giving it to the Lakers for the last two or three seasons. But the point is he wanted to go there, and he didn't get his wish. Okay. He wanted to go play with LeBron again. I don't know why LeBron wanted that to happen again. It's, I don't understand it. They won a championship it is a so, it is a soap opera with this guy and with the Nets. You get rid of him. Hopefully, KD stays there. You got picks now. You go build your team over the next four or five days with the before the trade deadline ends and keep Kevin Durant there because now you got rid of the one disease, the one cancer in that locker room, which was Kyrie Irving. But you know, Brooklyn ain't gonna win no championship. I I didn't say championship. Okay, I'm saying oh, keeping no. Kevin Durant there. That's the whole focus. They got a chance to win a championship down the line. I'm not saying this year, but somewhere down the line they can. I don't know. I don't see yeah, that. You're going crazy over the Mavericks. A long time. I don't see that. Yeah, well, I don't see that. Hairline. <laughs> Stay another yeah, season. Or Brooklyn two. ain't winning nothing over the next five years. Well, I never years. put that out there. I'm just going crazy over what Rock said about the Mavericks. They're far away.
to me, they're far, How far away. How are they far away? And they was just in the Western Don't Conference ch- Championship last year, okay. and you bringing Kyrie in now. Let me see. How are they far away now? You bringing Kyrie in. Are they the same team they were last I season? I think they're better now. Have you watched basketball this year? Yeah, absolutely. You haven't watched basketball the this Mavericks, year. Watching the, Ma- the Mavericks. The Mavericks have been watching. Rock, don't, <laughs> watch, don't, don't go toe-to-toe with me. You're making my don't, point. Don't go toe-to-toe with the me Mavericks on basketball. The Mavericks have been struggling. I think uh, they, what, 10th or 11th in the West right so now? So now just that one person, a one knucklehead, going to come in and just change everything around. Absolutely. Okay, that's bull. When you got a player okay. like that. That's BS. You're, you're, just throwing, you're just throwing crap out. You ain't no damn ain't genius. Doing. Okay, I'm done. We can move on. We're going to find out real soon. Well, he can, he now talk, he ain't he talking English like no more. He's he, talking like Kyrie is, is June Bug Jenkins from the block. What, what, what did I say no while ago? I said he's a hell of a player when he wants to play. But you're making it sound like he's going to change that whole entire team no, to a championship No, I'm team. telling you that he's the team is better this year than it was last How year. How do you know? You don't know that right now. You ain't even played a game yet. Only time going to tell. And they were bad this season. Dallas is six. Thank you, but they were way. bad this season before he got there. They're not the same team they were last season. Because what, Brun- Brunson left? Brunson was I, a big part of it. I ain't going to lie, Brunson was a okay, huge then. part. All right, then. But you got Kyrie now. Okay. All right, we're going to find out. You know Come what's next week. You take, you, talking listen, about? Let, let, Sacramento was third in the West. Oh, Sacramento doing their thing this year. They quietly. Quietly, <laughs> quietly but all that stuff, uh, all that stuff so plays out in the end. But let go me ahead. ask you something. Uh, go ahead. Super Dave, Go ahead. since that's what you call yourself. Yes. If you had a choice, basketball only, we ain't talking about off court and all this, basketball only, skill for skill, would you take Bronson or Kyrie? Basketball only now. Basketball skill ain't going to be a fool. I say I'll take Kyrie Irving. So how are you going to sit up there and say but that you- they're not as good as they were last year? Because they lost Bronson, but now they're getting Kyrie. But Rock, have you seen them play yes. this season? They, they have not been good. But they cut now they got Kyrie. But we don't Let know what Ky- we don't know Rock. which Kyrie gonna show up. And they have played defense. Go you ahead. know, that's the Rock. end of the at the end ahead, of the day. Ahead, they Griff. played better cool. defense last year than they did this year. Go ahead, Griff. We're gonna find out. But Whoever you don't know basketball. play with Come the on. Mavs on two K is gonna be excited. <laughs> and that's how But I why? Because it's a video game, number one, fool. And then number two. That's a that's a that's a alley oop coming every other play. Why you want to bring a down Kyrie video game in this? We talking about real basketball. Because Luka, I know, Luka, I know. Luca is like a video game. He like a chink cheat code. Luca himself. Anyway, we're gonna find out what happens, man. So let's let's get ready to talk about these Grammys. Hey, yo, what up, man? Rock T up in the building. Listen, the Golden Arches have a lot more than your favorite French fries that we all love so much, man. There are also Golden Opportunities. In partnership with the Thurgood Marshall College Fund, the McDonald's Black and Positively Golden Scholarship Program is dropping $1 million in scholarships for HBCU students every year. That kind of cash helps keep bright minds on the yard. You can get all the details at mcdblackscholars.com. All right, Grammys went down, and uh, listen, it was Beyonce's night. A lot of stuff to talk about. Before you get into that, I'm going to tell the truth about this. I used to be into the award shows, into the Grammys. Back in the day when Prince, it was Michael Jackson, probably the music I knew, but I gave this a shot. I I sat there and watched the entire Grammys for the first time. The whole thing? I must have been bored. Yes, I watched the whole thing. Did you like it? I like it, Rock and Griff, but I think I must be getting old because some of the music I didn't know. That's number one. <laughs> and then some. the second thing is, when did guys start wearing dresses and all this other stuff? Oh, where you been, dog? Oh, where you been, dog? You been, I ain't trying to watch that. It's the age of a non-binary hey, pronoun. You, you, you better leave folks alone. still weird. Guys I don't care. I'm just being men. truthful. I'm hell of a man. You must ain't watch I TV. I wear pants and a shirt. I don't wear a dress. Hey, man, yes. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that, but let me tell you something. It, 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 well, I'm going to comment on that. Uh, no, I ain't saying nothing about that. All oh, comments. You, you, you may want to just, yeah, I'm you, fine. I'm fine with that's, it. That's super day. I'm afraid of nobody. I would, I would like to say, but at least you watched it. So let me ask you why you watched it. It was produced and hosted by Trevor Noah. I thought for the first time in a celebration of anybody getting an award that the flow was good. Uh, shout out to Jesse Collins, uh, who uh, produced the whole thing. But I thought I thought 
with so many celebrities and you know what I'm saying? You just can't be, Hey, there go Jay Z. Hey, Jay Z. Can I get a woo woo? Like that's funny for a smile, but it ain't, I thought I really loved how Trevor Noah controlled the whole thing. It was a good, it was a good flow. Yeah, it was, it was, it was good, man. It's not like back in the day, you know what I'm saying? Where when the Grammys came on, you literally stopped everything that you was doing. Okay, that's what I'm saying. And you put the yes. cut the TV on because of that Michael Jackson performance or that Prince performance or whatever. But even Bobby Brown. Yeah. And remember back in the day, that's what we used to watch. In the audience. Did, I mean, I was mad Kendrick didn't perform. I love the hip hop thing, but in Atlanta and all the people that listen to this podcast who live in Atlanta or around there, Atlanta CBS cut off the hip hop tribute when method man came on went to commercials for three minutes yeah then came back and was like uh, i was like oh man they ain't even put on outcast and somebody was like no a big boy was on there yeah you I missed said, it homie yeah Stupid we saw it atlanta. here that was very disrespectful for the for, for georgia and atlanta whatever yeah. area. <laughs> I don't feel sorry for them. But let's let's start off with Beyonce, man. She missed her her first award because she's uh, she said she was stuck in traffic, but she made history as she picked up her 32nd career Grammy trophy and became the event's most decorated artist ever to stand. But she don't his- have the most Grammys though. She has producers 30- and them have the most. She the one with the most. Uh, but for singing, the, most. the artist, yes, for yeah. singing, yeah, 32 of them bad boys. But she passed. She actually passed the Quincy conductor. Jones. She passed Quincy Jones, who had twenty nine. But she nah, passed the conductor. It's a, it's George. Somebody with, yeah, one of them conductors or uh, orchestra dude. Well, George Salty, he had thirty one, and now oh. Beyonce has thirty two. So they're saying that she's so the most overall. decorated artist ever. Mm, mm, oh. No. How about that? So no. it, it's it's a different time. I maybe. Like I said, mean? I'm older. I don't you, understand. I don't. I'm not a big Beyonce fan. You don't have to be a fan, but you got to respect what she's done. I don't respect. Yeah, it. she got the most oh, wins man, ever. Straight for hate. Yeah, you have. Why to, am I you hating? Have to be a Beyonce I don't fan respect at all, it. Here's my opinion. Look, <laughs> look, I mean, damn. That's like saying, okay, I don't like Michael Jordan. I do, but if if somebody says they don't like Michael Jordan, they got to respect what he did. If someone says they don't like Kobe or LeBron or any of the greats, you still get people to st- argue. You That's their opinion. I have no problem with that. Right, but I'm you, not, why you don't like Beyonce? I mean, hey, she won like a fine, light no, skin, thick chick. No, 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 she's nice looking. I'm not just, I'm not into her music. The only one song I really do like by her is the Love on Top. That's it. Okay, that's, that's fine, but you got to respect her career, her work. You keep telling me what I got to do, and I keep telling you I ain't doing a damn thing. I'm not respecting her. That's it. Then your opinion don't matter. Then it does matter. No, it's it my who, who opinion is it? It's mine. It matter to you? I, I'm not That's asking. There you go. I'm not you. asking for you to or grip anybody. I don't give a damn about what y'all think. I said it's my opinion. <laughs> you better get that straight. I don't give a damn about nobody. It don't make no sense, fool. Are you okay, dog? I'm just straight. Um, Why are y'all y'all? You sound dumb. That's what you sound right now. But you are dumb. Look back to basketball. Lady. That was the dumbest ass statements you made in basketball. God, it's my damn opinion. I mean, damn. You know, everybody has a right to their own opinion. Okay. That's not what I got a problem with. My problem with you is you're saying just because you don't like Beyonce and you don't like her music and listen to her music that you're disrespecting her body of work. I just said, I, when you said that, I never said, I said, I don't give her the that's respect what you like you do. Know. No, when you say that casually. Hey, Griff, talk to your boy, man. You said that's what I insinuate? No, I understand. No, I'm not going to argue with this fool because when two <laughs> fools start arguing, don't nobody know who the real fool is. I'm going to let it we be We do know who the real fool is. He He's laughing right now. Rock. You, oh, you win, dog. You don't have to. Beyonce's stupid and her music sucks. Yeah. You're absolutely right, Thank dog. you. And, Thank and, you. And, well, no, and, I didn't go that far. And a See, thousand y'all, Grammys y'all go is overboard. just the whole Grammy board is dumb as hell, and they just pick anybody. Oh, You're man. right. Is she the greatest of all time since she won 32 no. awards? She actually is, clown. If you go on according to the Grammy Awards and how many she, she has. She actually, absolutely I is. I ain't talking some dumb ass fools. I can't, I can't talk to Now, look. Y'all. No, no, and too. I love Michael Jackson, and I love Prince, and Lionel Richie, and Stevie Wonder. But according to them little phonographs, my dude, right? She is the goat. According to the trophy, she is. Now, now this is where opinion come in. Now, to you, is she the greatest of all time? No. To me, I don't, I'm still, I'm still putting Michael Jackson at the top. So everybody got their own opinion on who they think is the greatest. Is Michael Jordan the greatest? What did I just say? Or I is mean, damn? Well, are y'all. 
freaking listening. I was gonna be cussing. I mean, damn, what? that's what I said. It's my damn no, opinion. No, no. That's the spirit you had this whole episode. We don't know what's wrong. That's with you. my damn opinion. Have you opinion. been burped today, dog? <laughs> Have you been burped? He ain't been burped yet, dog. Anybody touch me gonna get you their okay? ass kicked. <laughs> yeah, tell you that right now. Him no, him no had a burp. That pop that Him no burp. That pop that pop. No burp. That pop All y'all do is play. Shark do 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 do. Oh Grandpa. man! Shark do 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 do. Let's go ahead and move. Let, let's talk. So we talking about the, the, the 50, 50 year anniversary of hip hop. Now that man. was great. LL Cool J, Missy Elliott came out and showed out. Man, as always, Ice T, Run DMC, Salt and Pepper, just to name a few. And then they got into some artists that I just didn't know. I'm just sorry I did. Well, they did Glorilla. They they was trying to speed it up. But so when Outkast came on, because I missed it. Yeah. Who else kind of came on in that span? It was Big Boy, and then who else? Yeah, then it was it was like you said, Method Man came out there real quick. Uh, who was you the know, girl group that came out as close to the end and was? I'm telling you, I don't know. No, that was Glorilla. That's it. She That's Glorilla. That song. Yeah. R I P. Let's go. What you know about me? That one. That but you know, uh, she wasn't saying nothing. Y'all want y'all love that. Y'all like that. I she like wasn't Rilla. saying nothing. I mean, I don't love it, but I appreciate it. I, like I like her story. Given man. the time span but, of hip hop. But I mean, one DMC. Like, came I like out. Rakim. I don't care what nobody say. I did too. When the R came out, dog, when Rock Kim set it down. Hey, and then when Public Enemy came out, I Chuck did too. D, I love that. When Chuck D came Flav. out, Flavor Flav. <laughs> but I was waiting for Eminem. I was waiting I for was Eminem. Wait, I was dog. waiting for Snoop. They warned you. you they warned you. Everybody wasn't going to be on there. Yeah, but they where talk. was the West Coast? What, true? Snoop should have came Snoop out. Snoop could have came out. Snoop Ice at Cube, least. Ice Cube, dog, somebody. Don't get me started, dog. You know what I'm saying? On and which they, one, Griff? You said, don't get you started on which one? I would have I would have took, I would have took, I would have took Ice Cube, Snoop, M, K-Dot, any of them, just somebody from the, I mean, we can't get no West. So y'all going to leave Hammer out. Nobody want Hammer. I was waiting to see Hammer come out if too, If they would put Hammer on there, I would have <laughs> said good. Man, Hammer, Hammer was part of hip hop. Absolutely. Good. You yeah, want to hear, I can't touch that. I can't dope. touch this. What, 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 can't bro, touch. Look, 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 Super Day. Did yeah. you see De La Soul without the rest of the dudes? I it did. was weird. Yeah, dog. Yeah, dog. <laughs> And, I'm really, and, and, I'm, and your I'm boy Bad That's Bunny it. started the show. Yes. Right? He started the show wearing jeans and a t-shirt, looking like he was going to a car wash. But and, and he he did later win a Grammy. But I also but that's was today's. told that but that's he had today. the most he had the most um, streamed music of all of 2020. Yeah, but yeah, that's dog. today's look. That's what the kids love. Yeah, they like they love that look. Up, to dog. them, that's dressing up. To us. You want to put on a nice shirt, some slacks. They don't do that anymore. And that's what you saw Madonna yesterday. Madonna looked like she used to be Madonna. Man, that and they didn't want to get a close-up on Madonna. You see how they stayed? No, they, they didn't. Stayed they away they from kept her. that yeah. thing nice and far. Yeah. You right, dog. Yeah, she went a little you bit too right. far. <laughs> yes, sir. My wife was like, okay, here we go. I said my wife. My wife was like, who is that? Is that Madonna? Yeah. I said, yeah, that's Madonna. And, and, they, Madonna, and, and Madonna is, a, is legendary, and they didn't even give her like a big, huge applause. Cause no, no, they didn't. They just kind of brought her on casually, ladies yeah. and gentlemen, Madonna. Yeah. He because was kind of clapping like, okay. that lady looked like Madonna, but <laughs> you know, TV magic. Man. Yeah, they kept their distance. The other funny part, too, was uh, Jennifer uh, Lopez, J-Lo. 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 Lopez looked amazing. She looked amazing, but Ben Affleck looked like he was just out of place. He didn't want to be there. He like she made him. Yeah, come. He's, he's like, like, man, I just want to be in another Batman movie. That's all I want to do right now. <laughs> and they got here all these black people. And when, especially when Motown came up, and Stevie Wonder and uh, Smokey Robinson, Smokey, Ro- Smokey Robinson, Ben you know Affleck. Smokey Robinson got a new album coming out called Gasms. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, dog, I can't make this up, dog. Like, really, he does the, the nasty. Oh no, it's coming out in April. We've been laughing at it the whole weekend. Hold on, let me tell you some of the songs that's on Smokey Robinson's new album. It's called Gasms. G A S M N S. Look, mm-hmm. uh, how you make me feel. I want to know your body. I keep calling <laughs> you. If we don't have each other, you fill me up and I fit in there. He's 82 years old. Smokey nasty now. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's 82 nasty. years he old and he's nasty. And he can't blink no more because all that Botox <laughs> and, and surgery he got on You his think face. he really did? Because oh, he looked young. Oh, he really man. did. You what about tell. Stevie Wonder? Because Stevie Wonder still looked young, too. Stevie Wonder looked real good, but his stuff looked Stevie like. Stevie Wonder had a gang of makeup on, though. Sure did. <laughs>
He showed me. I ain't even, listen. They got to take hey, Steven Rock, to the dentist. Not too. being, <laughs> not disrespecting that. The they got to take Steven to the man dentist, of God. Man. But that dude had no, on no. hell of makeup. We love Steve. They got to take him to the dentist, man. Get him. <laughs> what about Barry Gordy? Take the hey, I just he, Gary. You know he got that big old Barry I was Gordy just smile. Glad Barry was there. Yeah, like way yeah. to. You made Motown, and Absolutely. those two artists on stage right there was from you. Man. The only man, thing I, I, know, I did, I really like. It don't even make sense. Sam Smith, when he came up. Oh, I ain't like You talking it. about his performance with like the it. devil stuff? No, but I, no, when he yeah. came up with the dress outfit, the yeah. red, I said, you know who would look good in that? Griff. <laughs> <laughs> we get something for him like that. Griff got the Sam Smith dress. <laughs> Singing one of Barry, Barry White songs. No, no, no. Don't try to compliment dudes in dresses now. You're a oh, no, no, no. I ain't complimenting. I still hate. Don't try to, don't no. try to jump. Don't try to be an ally now, Super Dave. I don't think You're I am. You're on the outside looking in. I, I'm still a mistake. My that pronouns way. is homie, partner, and dude. <laughs> so let, let's shout out to Lizzo, man. She had a big night as well. She had an amazing Wait a minute. Speech. Wait a minute. Lizzo looked good. She, I like that she covered herself. She looked happy, and she looked like she lost some weight. Biggest, How about that? the best speech of the night, in my opinion. I agree. Agree. Yeah. Viola Davis, man, she got her egot. If y'all know what Viola egot Davis is, Davis looked amazing. She sure man, did. Man, she came out in that that metallic dress. Man, show a uh, egot is the Emmy, a Grammy, an Oscar, and a Tony Award. So big up to her whole yep. career, and and she's just getting started. Like for real, I love it. I guess I can't believe y'all just. Keep selling me out. I just asked the question. That's all I said. Like I said, I don't watch when these shows. When did men start wearing dresses? I oh, don't. Dog, in the seventies. I didn't. <laughs> what? I didn't. <laughs> just. I think hey, the only just, person I've seen. Yeah, you was out the loop. You was out the loop. It's only fun. person I've but seen that winter. had a dress on like that. When well, I like that, but it's uh. Roddy Ro- Roddy Piper, no, Piper. Russell. Russell Simmons. No, Russell Westbrook. Oh yeah, him too. Yeah, and I wasn't now. I was shocked when I saw that, and I was shocked when I watched the award show. Everybody just like it was just normal. Yeah. That's fine. Well, it is normal. If that's what now. you want to do. If that's it's, what you want to do. But you know, the Grammys is also where you overdo it. Let's never forget that uh, Lady Gaga came in an egg one time. Um, in a meat suit. In a meat suit another time. Like <laughs> So the Grammys is where you supposed to do too much as far as style and, that, and everything else. So, is that what that guy's you know, doing? Uh, you just styles. Um, Harry Styles. Har- is that what he does? Like, yeah, I don't know what first he of all, on, but, uh, First of all, I've known about One Direction since they started. I got a 23-year-old daughter who was a fan. Harry Styles was her favorite. When he left the group, she cried. Mm-hmm. She cried yesterday. She was so happy because she knew he was the star. And to see Harry catch all them Grammys, that was dope. Harry made good And uh, LeBron homeboy girlfriend caught him with Adele. She got her one, too. Yeah, Rich Paul. Yes, sir. I don't think she think about Rich Paul that night. She think about The Rock. Yeah, because yeah. she didn't even think Rich oh, Paul. Oh, she was. Oh, yeah. She, she was, was drooling extra. all over The Rock, Y'all don't know. Uh, uh, what's his name? Um, the host. Trevor. Uh, said, he was tre- Trevor Noah was saying, I know a couple things about you. I know you like The Rock. You never met him. And then he brought him out. And, yeah, she was extra cheesed up. And if you could see Rich Paul's face, was like, uh, I need to get all warnings about uh, men coming to my table and loving on my wife, please, or my girlfriend. Cue the well, fake smile. Would you have a problem with that? The Rock came up. <laughs> if Crystal. If Crystal said that was Trevor came to her and said, I'm going to give you your wish. I'm bringing The Rock over here. But you sit Oh, I forgot you a rock tea. <laughs> yeah, she already she already got her rock. No, she got a pebble now. She with already you. got her rock. Why no, you book? No. Shoot. She's straight. You go from she rock to pebble. She, she already got a rock. She already got a rock, but uh that's all to the good Overall, man. Overall, so, I thought the Grammys was sweet. Jay Z is still rapping at that table right now. He might have <laughs> just finished. Come on, dog. That was so long and awesome. I I've been a fan of the song since it came out. I just wouldn't have thought they would have let him do the whole eight minutes, but it was dope. That's why That's why my man DJ Khaled is so amazing because when you think, just because you think we can't is why I'm going to show you why we can. And he said it at the end of the performance. We just did an eight-minute performance on the Grammys. That's never heard, never been done. I give you this, of. and I, like I said, I haven't watched Grammys in a while, but it's, some more, it's more black than anything that I've seen in a long time. Oh, yeah, because over the last few years of yeah. being non-black. Music that yeah. took over. Yeah. You know, yeah, That's so. what you call that stuff, music.
Shout out to Bonnie Raitt, who won a uh, song of the year, and she looked the most shocked. Like, y'all kidding me. Like, I love that when you in this game, when you are creative, there's no age limit on it. I love that. She proved that last night. And Willie Nelson won him one, too. I saw that, At too. At the age of 89. I think he's 89, right? Yeah, Jeez. something like that. He's still making music, dog. Come on, and the Willie. only song I know about Willie is On the Road Again. Because <laughs> I think I went to see that movie he was in back in the day. I remember. Legendary. Yeah. yeah. Speaking of legendary, guys, let's get into the Super Bowl 57. We're going to give you our predictions and our thoughts and opinions right after this. Hey, yo, what up, man? Rock T up in the building. Listen, the Golden Arches have a lot more than your favorite French fries that we all love so much, man. There are also Golden Opportunities. In partnership with the Thurgood Marshall College Fund, the McDonald's Black and Positively Golden Scholarship Program is dropping $1 million in scholarships for HBCU students every year. That kind of cash helps keep bright minds on the yard. You can get all the details at mcdblackscholars.com. All right, man. Kansas City Chiefs, Philadelphia Eagles, Super Bowl 57. Two black quarterbacks for the Ooh, first time. Come on, man. Listen, man. Patrick Mahomes. And, and a woman coach. And a black woman I saw that. coach for the Eagles. Yes. This is going to be amazing, man. Patrick Mahomes, go ahead and put him to the Hall of Fame right now. I said it. And Jalen Hurts. Now, I'll go first. I want to hear I've this. been the first person all season long that's been saying I'm not convinced with the Philadelphia Eagles. Mm-hmm. I love what Jalen Hurts is doing. I'm rooting for my homie, but I'm not convinced with the uh, Philadelphia Eagles. And every time we got to further into the season, I kept saying I'm not convinced. Got to the playoffs. I'm not convinced. They're going to get beat. They're going to get beat early. And they find ways to win. Then I started saying, hmm, what is it about this team that it makes them win these games? I, other than, I mean, talent is one thing. You got to have the talent. But I'm like, it's something else. So I finally sat down and started just breaking things down. And the Eagles, by far, after doing some homework, are the most balanced team in the NFL. Maybe the San Francisco 49ers is the other one. But when I'm talking about balance from the running game to the passing game to the rushing defense to the passing defense to everything about the Eagles and how they play, it's nothing flashy. It's nothing that it ain't, you know, like it's just something about just a very simplified game plan. It reminded me of the doggone Patriots. Mm -mm. And it's like, okay. No, it is. You know, minus Tom Brady, because I, you know, you can't give Jalen Hurst that that props yet. But as far as the way the team plays, Super Dave, come on. So now I'm like, you know what? It, it makes sense. It, it is what it is. So, do I think they're gonna win this dog on uh, Super Bowl? No. <laughs> he did all that. Yes. No. I mean, he wasted five minutes of my waiting. damn life. Dog, I just I mean, that's woke five up, minutes of my blew life. on my coffee, took my robe God. off. No. Waiting for you to say. No. Don't you ever, talk, don't you you, ever say I talk long? Because that was long. I had, no, I had to. I had to give you my. my he was being Jay Z. <laughs> <laughs> He's being Jay Z. Right. The I did. <laughs> no, for real though. So I, I'm picking Kansas City to win this bad boy. But I do understand why Philadelphia made it to the Super Bowl. Y'all can take it from here. I um. My, my my one of my sons is a diehard Eagle fan, and the disrespect and the taunting he's been doing to me this. He's also a Florida fan, so I got to get him on the college side, but the NFL NFL side, he has been killing me. But I also am going for the Chiefs only because Patrick Mahomes. So I know this guy, right? Not know him like I can call him. He's in our division. We got to play him twice a year. I almost have to know his players just so we can know our players to match up against them. Yeah, y'all get your ass beat twice a year. Go ahead. Keep going. Oh, yeah. No, that's that's how that's what I know. Why the Eagles only got to deal with him once. (laughs) I got to see the home. And I went to the game this year. 
and we lost, and we could have won. And enough of it. I enjoyed that one too. I think the Eagles are going to play a great game. I think the Chiefs are going to pull it out in the end, and Patrick Mahomes will be the MVP, the MVP of the Super Bowl. And dude just has a. Unless he shake a baby or something, dude is flawless. <laughs> I don't want him to just randomly shake a baby, but I'm just saying he he has an untethered uh, profile right now, dog. Dave? I'm going with Kansas City, and it's simple. I don't think the Eagles have been tested. Now, I'm also a Cowboy fan, and it is the NFC East. And I could never, even though I love, I lo- I love Jalen Hurts from what he did in my Alabama and what he did in Oklahoma, I can't pull for philadelphia but kansas city on paper they played those close games and they pulled them out because of the quarterback patrick mahomes that's the key he's the key he's he's the key he's the glue to that football team i like jalen hurts but again i told y'all last week i don't think they got tested which they didn't against san francisco if san francisco if, if the 49ers didn't lose purdy in that first quarter at, on the first series, yeah, I think it would have been a different game and it would have had their first test. They have not been tested, and they will be tested on Sunday against the Kansas City Chiefs, and I think they will. I don't think it's going to be a blowout. It'll be a close game, but I got Kansas City winning. I think the most incredible part, again, two black quarterbacks in the Super Bowl, and you hear people talking about this. They're saying, well, should we, we – we want to get to the point where we don't talk about – I have to say black quarterbacks anymore. Right. Yes. No. We no, sh- we're here. No, we, but we no, here. no, no. We still should want to because of what they did in the past and criticizing these guys saying, we are not smart enough to be a quarterback, just like they do yeah, with the head coach. Yeah, let's never forget that. Yeah, let's that's why you keep saying that. it. Mm-hmm. You don't run away from that. You keep bringing it up so you can let these people know. Let the white people know because that's who in control but of these football when teams. Doug Williams went, they kept saying it like he wasn't going to win. Right. Well, you know they got a black quarterback. Right. Yeah. You yeah. Know so, they got a, but you know. And how does it they feel? Would win. How does it feel to win? And that's when they took. Uh, I think they asked them a question. Uh, Doug Williams. How does it feel to be a black quarterback that won a Super Bowl? I mean, that's a dumbass question. Yeah. It's like, man, I'm a quarterback that just happens to be black. Like that. That's it. You should have said <laughs> I ain't why- never been a white quarterback. So I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, but you yeah. don't run away from that. I th- I still think we keep saying just like we do with head coaches. I think you brought up on the Ricky Smiley Morning Show. It was uh, Lovey Smith and Tony Dungy. And Tony Dungy, two black quarterback. I mean, two black head coaches. Because how many black head coaches in the NFL right now? Right. We can count them on one on one hand. Come on, it man. ain't that many. Yeah. So we're gonna keep yeah, bringing it up until they get it in their heads. For our kids, man. Huh? They Say it get again? to see. Let's have some examples for our kids. They get to see black quarterbacks to to our kids. Yes. But black quarterbacks ain't nothing. That, that's like the president. Like. It's funny that my 15-year-old only know that we can have a black president. You know what I mean? Like when when we didn't have that thought when we was 15, we didn't even have a, no. a a glimpse of that thought. So it's good to see that these that these white kids is imitating black quarterbacks. And that's How about why, that? And that's why you keep saying it. So then if, if eventually you would see a black owner in the NFL you would see more head coaches, mm-hmm. black coaches in the NFL. You see more black quarterbacks who at the beginning, again, they just thought we were not smart enough to play that position. Right. We couldn't read coverages. Agreed. All we could do was what? Run and be mobile. Right. And that's BS. And we saw a difference over the last, what, 10 years? 15 years. Yeah. It's been a difference. So you keep saying, yes, we are black quarterbacks and we want more. We want more out there. We want more black Coaches, we want we want a black owner. Can we get one? I mean, can we get one black Byron owner? Byron Allen gonna buy a football team. Byron is, well, yeah, yeah. Byron, Byron is. The Broncos told him no, but somebody gonna let that man buy. Trust me. I mean, open the door. My God, open I your think, mind. I think Jay Z gonna gonna dwindle his way to get a team as well. He's already got a seat at the table. It. You know what I'm saying? Right. So it's just a matter right. of time. You see how the Super Bowl halftime is now uh, Apple Music. Come on, halftime. dog. Yeah. Yes, yeah, sir. all in the branding, man. But before we talk about the GOAT of football leaving, listen to this. 
Hey, yo, what up, man? Rock T up in the building. Listen, the Golden Arches have a lot more than your favorite French fries that we all love so much, man. There are also Golden Opportunities in partnership with the Thurgood Marshall College Fund. The McDonald's Black and Positively Golden Scholarship Program is dropping $1 million in scholarships for HBCU students every year. That kind of cash helps keep bright minds on the yard. You can get all the details at mcdblackscholars.com. So, the GOAT. Do we all agree that Tom Brady is a GOAT? Football Jesus. Yes, football Jesus. He's God's quarterback. All right, he retired again. And I think this is it for him. You know, he's always said he would love to play until the age of 45. He's been saying that since he was 39. So, he's done that. (laughs) Right. (laughs) He's done that. So, you know, there's a lot of critics out there saying, hey, you know, his his last performance, he don't want to leave like that. He's going to come back and go to somewhere else. You know, if he – I don't see him coming back. But if he did, I could see the Raiders being a good spot for him or maybe even the 49ers. But other than that, no other team no, – Why would the 49ers want him when they just picked that boy number three uh, from South Dakota State? All right, dog. Would you rather Trey. have – Listen, would you rather go and with then, Trey? And then stop trying to give everybody – Stop trying to get the Raiders these washed-up quarterbacks. But, I don't want Tom Brady. I don't want Aaron Rodgers. We can stop either. talking about it because he ain't coming it back. He ain't coming back, He dog. ain't coming back. We're he just is. having fun with a theory here. Yeah. So, if he did – Boo. You, that's, you, that's, like, that's like the other theory. I'm super the, the Raiders will finally win right something. Now. I don't like nothing, sports <laughs> fool. <laughs> but no, I think it's, I mean, do we do we agree he ain't coming back? He ain't coming back. I don't think he's, he's coming back. I think the I think him being in the booth and not having to hurt himself, because in the end, it's the punishment. He's not rushing it, to get in the booth. Ain't, it ain't that he don't want to not. I mean, hell, look at look at look at the boxer. Floyd Mayweather keep doing these exhibition boxing. This is eighth, ninth one coming up. Exhibition. But you were supposed to be retired, but he did he retired from boxing, but he gets to do these exhibitions and air quotes. I just believe that Tom Brady is gonna be excited to talk about the game he loves. There's 350 plus million dollars on the table for him, and he's gonna get it. He's going to walk right into it. It's going to be easy. I would love to hear Tom Brady thought on anything the same way I like to hear Romo, the same way I like to hear the quarterback before Romo commentating. I just think it's awesome to have somebody with that kind of vantage. But when it's Tom Brady, I think the other two commentators are going to shut up and say, well, they're going to go. I just think he wanted to get out of marriage. I told you guys this. At the end of the day, last season, Giselle told him at one point, Tom thought about it. He was at home with the kids and with the wife, and he's like, this is not it. He enjoyed the kids. Right. But you know how we are sometimes with our wives. You know how we are. Well, I know how you are. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm happy about all of this. I know how you are. But <laughs> I love spending time with my wife. I mean, yeah, I actually <laughs> enjoy it. I just <laughs> left St. Martin's with mine, y'all. <laughs> don't put us, don't put us in that category <laughs> now. We ain't it is fall. tough <laughs> hugging somebody who not there. <laughs> <laughs> It is but difficult yeah. trying to book uh, <laughs> restaurants. Right. She told him. Uh, can I get an uncomfortable table for two, please? Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. That's what she told him. She said, don't ever go back to football. If you do, I'm leaving. And he was like, this is my way out of this thing. Right now, he went. He knew that he knew Tampa Bay wasn't going to be good, but he took that shot because he didn't want to be married. She pulled the car. She wanted a divorce. He got the divorce. Now he's happy now. He can go live his life. He's not going to go I mean, and broadcast. in broadcasting. Dave, in the end, it's like every athlete, everybody w- thinks they can keep going until you can't. I look at boxers the most. I look at bat. I mean, a real basketball player, a real, I mean, Jordan retired, came back, won championships, left again. Like, not him. I'm talking about, I'm, I'm talking about these goat-esque people. Like your your Serena, yeah, no, you and, said yes. It's hard. To, it's when hard. These people yeah. walk away. It's almost good. So now let somebody else get to, because you're gonna be remembered forever. It, Tom Brady, listen, the Patriots still believe. I I saw a bunch of Patriot fans with Tom Brady jerseys, like he was a rookie. <laughs> like he he wherever he goes, 
that jersey is going to go up. It's going to do something to the franchise. But I'm I'm excited to just hear him in the booth. No one will be able to match Tom Brady. I don't think no. in our lifetime, period, because the guy played no. to what? He's 45 years old. I and got, he holds every single record out there. I got one little small theory. And this is about a 1% shot of this happening. Okay, let's hear it. That's hella small then. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. No, at least he's saying, like, I appreciate him saying yeah. this, what, you know, yeah, 1%. Is, yo, is not, like that's, is, if that happened, he should go to Vegas with it. Right, right. This ain't one of my bold predictions. This is just a theory. All your bold predictions are crap. Go no, ahead. Not at all. <laughs> go ahead. So he's not in a hurry to get into the broadcast booth, but it's just a matter of time. He's going to be there. Okay. Mm -hmm. So when next season comes around and we're at week, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, and a team like the 49ers loses their star quarterback due to injury. Who's to say that the jokes won't start? Hey, Tom, would you be interested in going out there and help this team? Tom will be the first person to say, Call me. You never know. But I if he if he waits that long, hold on go now. Ahead. Hold on now. And let's just say they nah, did. No, but I like what you're saying. Let's now. just say you're they did week call. Week nine, week ten. Yeah, yeah. So let's just say they did call him to entertain and see if he was bluffing or not, and say, "Hey, man, are you serious about that? You want to come in?" I wouldn't be surprised if he suit up and say, "Let's go," because he's got TB12. If y'all don't know what TB12 is, yeah. that's his way of training his body, keeping his body healthy to be able. Because let's just let's just say, let's just be let's admit he may not be playing at the same level of Tom Brady in the 30s, but he still retired a pretty healthy player. I'll take Tom Brady in week 10. Come on, I'll take him. I'll, I'll take him, but he ain't coming back in week I'll 10. Hey, man, I'll take I think Tom he's Brady done. in week 10. I think I've seen this, I've seen this play real. out before. Yes, uh, Aikman, and I'm not comparing Aikman to Tom Brady, but when Aikman left the Cowboys, North Turner, they made that phone call to get Troy Aikman back, but he, he was out of football. It was only one year, but it was during the season, right. and the same thing you're talking about, Aikman said no. I think once you're away, once you're fully oh, away. Oh, no. Here's, okay. where that, here's, here's where that mental therapy comes in. Most athletes, mm -hmm. they play too long because they can't let it go. Now, yeah. Tom Brady, just think about his pattern over the last couple of years of retiring, not retiring. I'm not sure or whatever. Man, I think this dude really, if in a perfect situation, he would play again, man. I, I think he's. I I, think what he's I happy. do know is he can play football whenever he, he wants. can, right. but That's he's proven. happy. He doesn't have his wife anymore. Especially with the, kids. with the new rules of protecting the quarterback. He ain't got to worry about touching the quarterback. Absolutely. Oh, yeah, he's going to be fine. Yes. If he plays. So, but while we're talking about uh, quarterbacks and greatest, uh, Super Dave told us to put a list together of our top five quarterbacks. Super Dave, let us hear yours. I want Rock to go first. Let me go second. Oh, my God. Let me go first while y'all. I, I don't know what's wrong with neither one of y'all. I apologize to all the uh, homie haters that's listening right now. I mean, can now. you come on? Uh, uh, can you bring it, it on? It, Let's come it, on. Come it, on. Come on. Say it. I got Tom Brady. I got Steve Young, Peyton Manning, Ben Roethlisberger, and Brett Favre. What oh, the my hell? goodness. What the hell you got Ben on there for? What? What the hell are you he smoking? came out of the University of Miami of Ohio and won a championship and was sweet the whole time he was with a team. I didn't know we was judging our – okay, good. Say it again. Good Say your list again. Just yeah. give me a, go yeah. one more time. Tom Brady. Okay. Steve Young. I guess he was a bum too, huh? Steve Young, Peyton Manning. Oh, horrible, horrible quarterback. Ben Roethlisberger and Brett Favre. <laughs> man, your list is crap, Brett Favre man. because I love seeing Brett Favre cuss his wide receivers out when they miss. I loved it. When is your trash day? <laughs> Cause put that out there with it, dog. That's all it is is trash. All right, so I'll go second. I got Terry Bradshaw at number five. <laughs> I got Peyton Manning at number four. Okay. I got John Elway at number three. I wanted. To I got him. Montana at number two, and Tom Brady at number one. Okay. I like that list. I'm not agreeing with the Terry Bradshaw at the end, but I think I can counter Terry that. He got, he got, got rings. Most championships I, I, did you do your? Did you have your Tom time? Brady. Did you have your time? Your your stuff is in the trash right there. He got rings. Yeah. Let, look, Tom Brady, number one. I think we all agree. Yep. Joe Montana has to be number two. Yeah, absolutely. Because who were calling the goat before Tom Brady? Tom Montana. Okay then. Dan Marino. 
They ain't got to win a championship, but Dan Marino was a hell of a quarterback. He was, he, he's probably number six on my list. Okay. That's fine. John Elway. Yep, he's three on me. I was going to put John Elway. I hate the Broncos. You need so to do something. Bro. Man, you need to have a new list. <laughs> yeah. And Roger yeah. Starbucks. You said, you said. Uh, Peyton. No, I'm talking about. Uh, what's his Bradshaw. Name? Bradshaw. So I just counted that with Roger Starbuck. And that's my list. Okay. Because I, I saw what Roger did back in the day. I'm not I'm not saying he's greater than all these other quarterbacks. I, you saw Roger but... Starbuck play? <laughs> How old are you? <laughs> he did. You heard what he just said, yeah, right? I'm just I'm trying to play. Like, are you, I did. are you one of them people that be lying about their age so you can play pop I, I mean, football? How old are you? He played in the 70s. He played in the 70s. You don't think I saw football in the 70s? Oh, I, I just saw the highlights, Yeah, you though. said that too casual, though, dog. Yeah, uh, I watched <laughs> I mean, I, what you want me to it's say? Fine, dog. I didn't say I saw who Bart Starr played back in the day. <laughs> I mean, damn. To, though. It's right up there. <laughs> it's, uh, it's right. But you know, you know, I got to put on my honorable mention probably at number seven. Who? Say say what you want to say about a man, Jim Kelly. That joker went. To, he he could be. He could be. In, but we, if we're in the top Jim ten, Kelly it would be list. It'd be different. I may Kelly put Jim Kelly in there for sure. I may have to put Jim Kelly before Dan Marino because he went to four Super Bowls. But I respect your list more than I respect this bum ass list. I don't need y'all to line. respect my list. I don't give oh, a damn. He's he sensitive said, now. Look oh, at him. now I'm you. I hate Beyonce. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> this my list is Beyonce. <laughs> there it is, man. On that note. <laughs> Yeah, what's wrong for Ben Roethlisberger? I that didn't say I hate Beyonce. <laughs> Quit saying that. That joker said Ben Roethlisberger. I know. That was. <laughs> come on, man. Even said, Big Ben no, going, man, I'm, come I'm on. I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why. Even Big Ben, come on. Come like, on, man. Okay, yeah, I, I was cool. Because really nobody wrong. came out of the University of Miami of Ohio. We're talking about the NFL. Who cares? Wally Zerbiak. Random sports people. I thought it was a. I thought it was. The, Come on, take dog. that list. crap to the trash, man. <laughs> you better. Put- uh, Jay Z want to talk to you. <laughs> I'm right here. Who cares? Blue want Blue got a few words for you. Uh, I got kids hey, too. I'll let hey. I'll let my kids take tell care. Tell a friend of her. to tell a friend. Y'all download, subscribe, man. Keep the five star. Oh, we gotta reviews. do it too. We gotta do the three minute. Just 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 two stories out of three minute drill. Oh, we gotta man, do. Them. We good, man. You know. Gotta do yeah, them. We good. We, we good. promised them. No. no. We, we promised them. You the three minute drill. We promised him. I'll give you one. i just give you one. Give us one then. Go ahead. Okay. In the three-minute drill, Derek Jeter, he said this on a TV show. He said he once wore a golden, a golden thong and a game to break out of his slump. Now, we know Major League Baseball players do some crazy stuff lot, to get out of A lot slump. of traditional type stuff. Yep. It's super do you believe that? People. Yeah, I believe it. Yes. Yeah. Okay. He did do it. I believe it, yeah. Would you do it? I wouldn't do that, but I've done some things because I play baseball, and we do some crazy things, man, like for real. What was the one thing you did to get out of slump? Um, I did. I wore the same undershirt, undergarment shirt for like six or seven games in a row, and it, it stunk. Y'all it win? was funky. We was winning, and I was hitting. So I wasn't trying to get out of a slump. <laughs> I didn't want to get in. I didn't want to. I didn't want to go you into a slump. Wanted to start. So right, this is my right. lucky. This is my lucky T-shirt, and I didn't want to wash it. Ooh, that thing was stunky. So when I when I find, did I just make a word up? I said stunky. Stunk. That's all right. That's good. Stinky go with it. Stunk. We got to believe in it and go with it. Man, so when I finally went through a game, I had a couple games when I didn't get a hit, that's when I finally changed it and washed it and did something else. But, yeah, baseball players do some crazy things when it comes to that that kind of stuff. What was yours, uh, Griff? Wearing a bra? I actually you still wearing it now. Some, okay. I lost some bet and had to wear some red panties one time. <laughs> you still got them on. Stupid go ahead. Bet. I don't even remember. Wait I was a on. You High 1079 with the A team. I don't know what it was. It probably was the Super Bowl. It probably was when the Raiders lost that Super Bowl to Tampa Bay or something. You had to wear some red radio. panties, dog. Some red panties. And, I don't remember, dog. It was stupid Akini the Black oh. Mac made me do that. You know what? I got to And you're saying the red panties, I can get you that red dress that Sam Smith had. <laughs> and you'd be matching. You could be matching the all the The reason you want to do this story <laughs> and the way you read it is because you like it so much. So maybe you are an ally. <laughs> maybe you need to call. It's some phone you got. numbers we can That's get all you, you got. That's right all you got. That's all you show, got, Griff. That's all you got. That's all you got. I'm going to get you that red dress. Oh, Put on man. that red dress. Oh no, my, Slip my, in your my, high heels. My, 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 my. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man, we out, dog. Hey, thanks for listening to I Hate the Homies podcast, making us do what we do.
every dog and week. Hey, go tell a friend and tell a friend, man. We appreciate you guys, all the downloads, all the subscriptions, all the five-star reviews. Go tell somebody to listen to I Hate the Homies podcast. I'm Rock Teasy is who I be. It's your boy Griff, the first homie, and I hate the homies, especially this next one that's about to talk. And it's your boy, Super Dave. I'm going to get you that red dress. I'm telling you. <laughs> Come on. Go, give me a little bit more, Rock. My, 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 my. my. <laughs> you sure don't look good tonight. <laughs> but guess what? We, we don't, don't care. care. We don't care. <laughs> there it is. Deuces. Ah, I hate the homies.